My name is Cathy O'Hare. I am a PhD student in Digital Arts and Humanities in University College Cork and my research is funded by the Irish Research Council. This century is going to go down in history as the century of the refugee, with over 71 million people displaced globally. Refugees, asylum and migrant communities face many challenging situations globally, one of which is maintaining access to education as they travel and transition through nation states and borders. So this research focuses on how technology and digital platforms can be used to bridge those education gaps for these communities. We're a team of facilitators with community activist backgrounds and we use community radio as our tool of choice to explore concepts of critical digital pedagogy in our teaching and learning practice. Critical digital pedagogy has a number of key features. So it centres its practice on community and collaboration. It's open to diverse international voices and can reimagine the ways in which communication happens across cultural, geographical and political boundaries. And it also must have an application and a use outside of the traditional institutions of education. The project itself has three phases. So the first phase is about training and working with groups of asylum seekers across Europe using a blended learning approach. Uh, the results from this work then is a body of creative multimedia content that is then broadcasted through a network of community radio stations in Europe and also through social media platforms. Once broadcasted then um, audience engagement is analysed online. Hello, lovely people. You are live on 98.3 FM UCC, and we are here to present to you a program as part of the Refugee Week going on at the UCC campus. How does radio help refugee? The refugees uh, has the problems that it can't uh, also sometimes the government can't listen it so uh, the refugees voice can reach the government and also the people know uh, can listen to this uh, interviews and this programs and know that how hard is living in the jungle when i came home here it was very difficult for me and now little bit i'm much better i'm improving and Definitely we do have the potatoes, we do have all those kind of things, but the taste is uh, are different, like, yeah. uh, so it oh actually <laughs> <laughs> took me uh, some time uh, to get used to eating Irish food, like apparently I think about Europe has been quietly rebuilding its borders and its policies towards refugee, asylum and migrant communities are becoming more and more aggressive. So when governments and institutions fail to act, it becomes a civil duty for citizens, activists and researchers to, to challenge these policies. Paulo Freire says that washing one's hands of the conflict between the powerful and the powerless means to side with the powerful and not to be neutral. So I suppose you yourself become complicit by failing to act in this, in this situation. There are social and cultural impacts from this research, so we are already starting to see some of those benefits. The impact of the research is directed at uh, capacity building, and so learners develop and build digital skills and critical understandings of digital citizenship. Learners who engage with the project build confidence, capacity, capability. They also have a visual presence on university campuses, in community radio stations, um, on air broadcasting and podcasting online. International community radio audiences have access to alternative narratives in terms of the voice of the refugee, which gets omitted from the mainstream media so often. So I think the research matters because it has explicit and implicit outcomes for everybody involved. It examines how we use digital platforms to become co-producers and co-constructors in the making of new knowledge. But it also allows for a demand to instigate or create some sort of social change or social action. So the learner is fostering agency and is empowered by the process and participation. Music by Chris Zabruski.